Welcome to Bike Racing Without Mercy. Happy Saturday. Thank you everybody for joining. If someone could let me know if the sound's all right. Feeling okay, thank you, Martin. Um, I will try and stay out of the top 10, but I can't promise. But it's a good challenge. Um, have my procedures, I await the results. Um, and hopefully the sound's all right. Oh, hey Ian, enjoy your training, I see you on there. Cadell, Cadell, thank you very much. David, cheers. Hi Philip, hi Paul's good. Hey Paul, how are you? Don't take any long turns in front, yeah definitely. I'm gonna be trying to hone my drafting skills. I'm on the Tron, because I need the aero uh, for this course. Hi Carlo, well I like training in the morning to be honest. It's um, my preferred time, it's when I have probably more energy. Hi Mick, how are you? All good. Ryan, all the way to South Africa, hope all's well. Dirks, good luck today, more of that in a second. Hi Phil Rich, what are you racing today? Some horrific long one. Jason, thank you very much for joining, hope you're well. Hiya Jack, hope all's good, thanks for joining. David, good day, <laughs> good day to you sir. From a little pommy and then another Aussie together. Chris from Legless Gaming, hope all's good. Not on the Monda today sir. Michael, throwing it down in Marlow. Yeah, I think it will be in London shortly. Hey, Stefan, you're right. Hope Paul's good. Silver Spoon, thank you for joining. Hey, James, appreciate you joining. Good luck today, Paul, on your uh, your race, sir. Uh, right. So I did a little progressive warm up on the three sisters as usual, out the saddle. You can see there a little final ramp of power. Um, I'm not quite sure how the legs are. Tight, far too late last night. Oh, I see. Delaying your racing till tomorrow. Nice one. Yeah, a bit of zone two will set you up nicely. Hi, Lewis. Louis, hope Paul's good. Steve, thank you very much for joining. Oh. oh, it's evening for you, is it, Steve? Nice one. So, today it's the crit circuit, but it's the dolphin lap, the other way around. To the previous time. 12 laps rather than 8. And we've got quite a merry band racing today. Um, Wiwat Durganapa or Vivat Durganapa, good luck to you. Um, sorry I mispronounced your name. I am dyslexic but very best of luck. Matthew Seal, very best of luck. Um, Paul Spencer in Oz, hope it goes well sir. And Chris Taylor. Um, Enjoy your race in the seas. Marco Derricks, I saw you in the chat earlier, warming up no doubt Marco. Best of luck. Ian Newbury, good luck to you sir as well. Louis Andre, he might be streaming it, check out. Um, um, oh, Andre Cycling, I put my apologies today if I got the name wrong, stick it in the comment. Hi Will Mate Cycling, you alright? How's it all going? Um, Kieran Cummins, very good luck to you. And we've also got Tom Harris, who works for Zwift. Um, I know Tom, he's a very strong rider and he races for the Zwift team. Hi Joe, how are you? The new route, is there another route is there, Louis? I'll go right. EMR, good morning sir. Yeah, I'm interested to hear what the new route is. Anyway, better get over to the, uh, the event. I'm always really nervous about the crit races because there is plenty of opportunity to get dropped early on. Sorry, let me sort my settings out. Oh. Ah, right, cliffside route to skip the epic. Well, I'm sure there'll be many a time when I deploy that. Ah, oh, we don't have a Christmas tree yet, Stefan. Um, we're only just turning our attention to Christmas now. It's only just starting to kind of calm down work-wise. Thank you, Guy. Um, I've had all my tests done, so I wait the results. Um, the initial colonoscopy seems to be quite positive, but we have to wait the biopsy and that kind of thing. But yeah, quite hopeful on that. The MRI scan, all still awaited. 
But thank you. Fingers crossed. Right. So let's see how many we got in this race. There's 133 people in it. 14 in the A's. So, looks like we might have a little bit of good weather, certainly in the UK, over the next week. Cold, but dry, so maybe I'll get outside as well. Um, I was really jaded after, well, obviously the week's tests and stuff, I had to do a full fast for 36 hours. But um, after the race last week, on the Saturday, it really, really destroyed me. So I took four full days off, obviously, for all these tests and stuff. Had a little training on Thursday in a zone two yesterday. Hi, Lee. Thank you very much. A win today. Oh, man. Oh, I'd love a win. I'd love a win, but... Thank you very much, Joe. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I try and stick it to the training um, and the nutrition, because uh, that is my passion and hobby. And if you haven't seen my nutrition video, my um, post-ride nutrition. I often get asked a lot of questions in the chat. Um, it hasn't got that many views on it. Um, I kind of filmed it more for people that are really into that kind of thing. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But, um, you know, it's, it's certainly how I do things and it works for me. That's not to say it worked for everybody. But I think um, the nutrition and the recovery that the nutrition aids is a really important part of the training. Also, to mention the Festive 500 on Zwift or the Festive 555, if you subscribe like I do to the, um, the notion that a Zwift mile is a, about 30, a Zwift kilometer is 13% less than um, a real world kilometer. Um, join the Strava Backpedal um, website. It's Ed and Scott's site. I'm kindly invited to be a part of that. Um, and all the schedule for the group rides for the Festive 500 will be posted starting 8 a.m. Christmas Eve. There'll be another 8 a.m. on Christmas Day and then there'll be, I think, Ed's talking about some evening ones as well as day ones. Martin, you're not joining, so I might have a chance then of a podium, but I'm, at, I'm up against, I know, um, Tom and Lewis um, are very, very strong riders. And Kieran, um, I'm guessing you're properly strong too, sir. So we will see. Hi, Ashley. Thank you very much for joining. But Martin's got very big power, by the way. Saracen, thanks for joining. Oh, you had an MS Ice Spice Fun, Anthony. <laughs> nice one, sir. Right, I am going to just concentrate a moment. Yeah, I need to concentrate. Hi Adam, how are you? Thank you for joining. I'm super nervous. There's Lewis. Andre cycling. Sorry. I'm really nervous. Well, that's civilized. Cheers, Lee. Hey, Scott. Hi, Tidus. Sorry for mispronouncing your name as always. 
Thank you for joining. Like I say, back pedal, Strava will have all of the Festi 500 or Festi 555, right? Thanks, Karen. I'm really gonna to concentrate today. But this is more civilized than I've ever known on this course so far. I guess it's the extra four laps. Hi Agnes, you're right. Thank you for joining. And check out Backpedal last night for the live chat. Scott, Ed and I. I've got a nice video to drop on Sunday. Leith Hill comparison. It's got a twist, it's not the same as the Box Hill. Obviously different mountain or climb. There's Tom. but it's got a different feel to it.
Yeah, mate, got that. Roger that. What are the tactics? Cling on in there, as always. Hopefully, Mark. Hi, David. Thank you, Mark and David, for joining. Hi, Saint UK. Thanks for joining. Yes, Kieran. Thanks to the wheel, Kieran.
Yeah, if you do say that.
Ugh. <sighs>
Danny. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Let's go back. It's got to spin the legs a bit. I see what's going on here. Thank you. Let me just try and get the legs going. Why are we? <laughs> Indeed, Steve. Where was Pritch's legs when I needed them? <laughs> Thank you, Dogman. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you, Georgie, for joining. And Paul. The mid ride, I appreciate it. Anthony. Carl. Martin, David, Scott from Comhun TV, Madness on 8 p.m. tomorrow. Hey, Chris, thank you. Matthew, oh, we. So, where did Kieran and Tom oh, and Louis, Louis Andre come? Oh, hey, Dirks, keep it going, mate. Dear me, cheers, Chris. Wow, we. Thank you, Silverspin. Um, I'll tell you why, Dogman. Um, oh, that's a good question. I was debating ditching the feather and trying to get the arrow. And this is where psychologically I am weaker than probably many of you. I didn't want to get dropped on the final climb. And I calculated that People would probably, if they were happy with either a feather or an aero power up, not utilize um, certainly the feather on climbs nine, 10 and 11. People will stick with what they've got. So I figured I didn't need to use the feather, but that of course meant for going the aero. And being Mr. Beta male, I elected that my main effort today was to finish in the bunch. Um, obviously I want to get a podium, but now I'm kind of, I think, could, could people grade me on my drafting today? I didn't have the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The Edmonda, so I couldn't see when I was sitting up, but I definitely felt like I was off the power much more. Oh, I see Mick, all right. That's quite interesting. Yeah, well, someone did try and break away, but I think we brought them back. Nine out of 10, Tommy, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm sure Lord DeLego would grade me lower. So Lewis, Lewis Andre, where did you come today? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. Um, I deliberately picked this race because I reckoned it would only be half an hour in length or so. Um, and um, I want to hopefully have a ride outdoors tomorrow. <sighs> Paul Hamblet commenting on my draft. Um, while still racing. You are one strong rider, sir. Yeah, the, the what by, I had the trainer difficulty at 50% over the rollers. And what I learned over those rollers, the, the previous time and this time, is to get the cadence up on the downhill and carry that cadence into the uphill. Nice one, Chris. Good luck today. Go and have a race, you may surprise yourself. Often, God, Gus would give me a three, David. A three? What do you give me, David? Yeah, no, you're right, Lee. There was a few times when I went off the front unnecessarily. Sometimes, though, for me, with the watt bike, certainly over these rollers where I did go off the front a few times, it is easier to maintain the cadence and accept that maybe you go off the front a bit 
then to lay off, then put down, then lay off. Because then I get into this kind of yo-yo lag thing on the watt bike. Oleg, no, I didn't win. I think I got seventh, but happy with that, Oleg. Hi, Mick. Yeah, you um, you told me, Mick, um, to lay off the watts a little bit. I, I think I obeyed that. Guy, oh, what did Ed say? Ed's riding at 10. Wowee. Is it um, a Greek ride, Ed, or is it um, a solo training? What time is it now? So, <laughs> I'm in a position now to talk again. So a couple of things. Um, um, back pedal last night, check it out. Um, Ed, Scott and I had a nice little chat about the festive 500 and hopefully something that everybody here in the community who wants to can join us on. It's a Zwift festive 500. I personally think it should be a festive 555 because a Zwift kilometer is only 13% less than a real world kilometer. But there'll be a 500 and a 555. I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Says a man who doesn't like long rides. Um, hey Mike, hey Alan, thank you for joining. So, oh, Lewis, you're not fat. Nuff, 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 naughty boy. You're not fat. Um, so, if you join the Strava group backpedal, we will have like the community leaderboard and all that kind of stuff for distance, height, uh, ascending and all that kind of stuff. And we will figure out some prizes. I guess for whoever rides the furthest, whoever ride, uh, climbs the furthest and still gets either the 500 or the 555. So let's call it the 500 if you're climbing and going for the, going for the king of the mountains on um, the festive 500. Yeah, the Vita comment, that, that is me. David, I, I, when it comes to competition, I have never won anything. The best I've ever come in recent time is third, and that's when I um, got enough points to get promoted uh, from Cat 4 to Cat 3. I've, never li I've literally never won anything. I did win the raffle on Chris Pritchard's uh, giveaway the other day on the cycling, Chris, Chris Pritchard's cycling news. And that was literally the only time I've ever won a prize. But anyway, um, so back pedal, join the Strava group. There's gonna be community rides. Ed's figuring out the distances, but we're starting 8 a.m. on Christmas Eve. There'll be one on Christmas Day. Apparently Christmas Day is a good day to ride. And um, hey Craig, thank you for joining. Appreciate that. And then um, Ed is kind of mapping out 40, 60, 80 kilometer sort of segments. And um, Ed's thinking about you know, different groups to pace. We'll stream some of it on our channel, some of it on Backpedal. But key is, join the Backpedal Strava group, sign on to the Backpedal um, YouTube channel, smash the like button, uh, no, smash the sign on button, sorry, the subscription button. And what we're hoping is, you know, this festive 500, we'll get plenty of people attend and we can figure out what else to do um, in the community over the course of the spring and well the winter spring and summer maybe some virtual virtual challenges I was thinking you know when Ed's up to fitness and Ed probably won't like me saying this but we could do one of those virtual Mont Vent um, challenges like a two or three times Mont Vent virtually um, but anyway enough I'm now in my verbal diarrhea mode but the bottom line is trying to Hopefully, have a bit of fun during this kind of lockdown. It's kind of, is it lockdown, isn't it lockdown? It's lockdown, really. Um, it's gonna be cold. So hopefully, some of the group rides and the Festive 500, I might take one of my rides outdoors if the weather's looking nice. So you don't, you know, you, can, you still get recorded on the Strava. Next Crit City should be an experiment. Yeah, to hang on to the, yeah. Now Martin said that at the very beginning. Um, Mick, uh, that I should try and stay in the top 10. Again, I, I think it's partly because I'm live streaming. I have this, I mean, obviously I get dropped a lot, especially on the climb, 
but I have this fear of getting dropped and then it spoils the entertainment. And obviously it's quite boring when you're riding around on your own, um, you know, on a circuit like this, which is what would happen. Um, yeah, I could maybe run a, a live stream as an experiment and people, people could, um, could advise. Just join, nice one, Silver Spoon. Yeah, and so we have the little chats in the week, uh, typically Friday evening, but maybe Thursday evening, depending on when Scott and Ed are available. <sighs> Cheers, Ian, I appreciate that. Um, and we talk a little bit about um, what's coming sort of on the channel, community ideas, that kind of stuff. And from the first one, we got some really nice ideas for when Ed is back up to fitness. Um, and he's gonna look for potentially the UK climb on which he'll undertake the Everest and we hopefully will sample a few of the local climbs and meet you all. We'll meet those of you that live near them, I guess. Um, social distancing allowing. Um, so plenty going on on that front. Um, as I say, um, I've got right now a nutrition video, what I have post-ride. And I forgot who was it said that I am my ice spice bun. I do indeed have an ice spice bun on the deck. It will be inhaled and the greens and all that kind of stuff. But I explain why I do what I do with my post-ride nutrition. And it's pretty much something that's been fairly constant through the strength and also the cycling. And I personally believe the nutrition is nearly as important as the training um, to get the progression on the cycling. I think the, the strength is accretive. Um, you got fourth, Dirks. Nice one, sir. Congratulations, that is oh, sensational. Next time third. Um, so check that out, but also on Sunday, I've got my Leith Hill video. It's a comparison, Leith Hill versus Box Hill, very different climb. Um, it's a really, I love Leith Hill actually. I prefer it to Box Hill if I'm being honest. And the area around Leith Hill has got more climbs as well. It's brutal, I did it for the, the hill climbing championships, but you only do part of it. And I did one of the longer segments on it with Mr. Paul Hamblett filming from behind in zone three for him. But it's got a different feel to it, this video. And also we got some stats from Paul who also had a full gas attempt, which I managed to film part of. I have to go off ahead of him. I look behind, I get myself up to ramming speed. It's like, dum, 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 dum. And he's coming up behind like a exocet missile. And then I'm up and out the saddle at kind of 400 watts for about two minutes just to get 90 seconds of film of him. So I've got a bit of that, but also we've got his stats. So we can have a little bit more science to the whole equation there. Uh, Paul's got, not, not Paul, Scott's got his video coming out, um, 8 p.m. on Comhan TV, madness in mine head. Scott's leg is getting a fair bit better, fingers crossed that continues. Plus now, we have the proper beginning of the comeback for Mr. Ed Laverack, who's gonna preside over the festive 500. Like I say, he's racing and he said he's racing, not racing, sorry, not racing, he's not racing. That would be clickbait. He's riding today, 10 a.m. Um, but we will get a chance to ride with Ed and not get dropped by Ed um, over the course of the festive 500. Yeah, do you remember, it's, there, there was um, a, a movie, it's a good Christmas movie, where you've got, um, who is it? The Greeks and the Romans, and they've got some kind of battle going on in their ships, and the ships have sails, but oars are the main kind of form of um, prop uh, prop propulsion. And there's a man with a drum going doom, 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 doom. And then they kind of go ramming speed, because they try and ram each other. Um, with the front of the bow that's got like a big metal attachment to put a hole in them. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about this. Um, EMR, so there'll be group rides, but I definitely um, will schedule a race, a flat race, um, such that when we finish the race, we can jump into um, the group ride. I need to figure out how we do that. I think we'll just end the flat race and then just go and find Scott or Ed Laverack, Scott Hewish. Oh, are, you, are you on, on Scott, are you Com Hunt Scott? 
on Zwift. But we'll find Scott and Ed, and we'll go and do a join up, and then we'll just jump onto their um, uh, their tail after the race. So yeah, definitely um, a race is on the cards for those who want it. Kelly's Heroes. Yeah, it is a Crimbo movie, Mark. So definitely, all the war ones are Crimbo ones. Uh, Escape from Colditz. I'm definitely showing my age now, because I was, I was kind of weaned, like a bit like James May. I've got to be honest with you. I love James May on um, FX models, Action Man, Commando comics, but also Colditz, The Great Escape, The Battle of Britain, Kelly's Heroes. You name it. And Kelly's Heroes, it came on after Christmas, like Boxing Day, that kind of thing. Uh, to broadcast, Raphael, um, I'm using um, OBS. So what you do is you set up your YouTube account. You've got YouTube Studio. Then you go on to OBS, and you have your account there. And you set up a stream in YouTube Studio. And when you set it up, it gives you a code. And you go and stick that code into the settings live stream segment on OBS and then you've got your time all set up as to when you want to go on YouTube and around the time you hit stream in OBS and then all of a sudden a little blue start streaming appears in YouTube studio that's quite a technical ex description but OBS um, I, I, I find it good you need good Wi-Fi um, is the one thing I would say oh Right. Yeah, I do need to take... <laughs> What's with all the negative vibes? I can't, do the I can't do the voice. The negative vibes. What's the guy that's got the negative vibes? Oh. Oh, what's he? Oh, damn it. What's the guy called? The mechanic. Yeah, he's the he is. Donald Sutherland's character is one of the all-time great characters. Exorcist in Easter. No, it is not. Nothing horror. I hate horror. I've got a really, really poor constitution for horror. A crap game. What's a crap game? Escape from Colditz, that was a board game. What's the best Christmas? Yeah, there's um, board games for Christmas. They've kind of gone out the window a bit. I used to do Monopoly with my kids. If you want to see kids argue. Oh, crap game. Yes, crap game. Yeah. <laughs> Crab Game is the name of the mechanic with the negative vibes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to have a post-ride recovery. But, oh, Wayne, thank you very much for joining. Appreciate it. Uh, apologies for not seeing you there. Monopoly. Yeah, Monopoly, Escape from Cold. It's, um, what was the other one? Operation. I always wanted that, but it wasn't a very good game. Um, you missed it. But you can watch it on replay, noob. But uh, I guess Wayne, you, you know, I can I can give you a spoiler alert. I didn't win, but it was all right. <laughs> Some thousand-piece jigsaws, James. Are they the really difficult ones, like of baked beans? Where? Ah, oh, risk. Oh my word, risk. Risk is a superb game. Yeah, thousand-piece jigsaw of baked beans. I think they're properly difficult. Risk. Oh, yeah, I went that. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, t you get two young teenage lads that like history playing Risk, and they both think they guy, I guess, um, let me think who the. Rommel and um, Monty pairing up against each other. Yeah, the Christmas scene took a week. For the worst, did it, James? Sorry to hear that. Hope Paul's all right. Ah, oh, yeah, Dirk's yeah, schoolboy era, <laughs> watching the stream while racing on a crit city. All you can, I mean, I can't, I like to talk during the race, but literally you can't. Really, James, risk for Christmas this year. Amazing. I love that, retro. Is, does your lad like um, history as well in general? I used to love history as a kid. I used to read so much about it. Yeah, I bet you're knackered, Dirks. Anyway, my apologies. So, Comhunt TV tomorrow, 8 p.m. 
Ed Laverack coming very shortly, 10 a.m. You can probably jump on his wheel if you go and do a find Ed Laverack on Zwift and keep him company. Um, but thank you all very much. Check out Back Pedal, sign up to the Strava, Festive 500, Festive 55, five, whichever you want to do, coming um, shortly, 8 a.m., 24th of uh, December. And prizes for who goes the furthest and who does the 500 and climbs the highest. In the meantime, whoever you are, whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive, and stay healthy. Take care. Thank you ever so much for your support. It's hugely appreciated. Right, end stream. Here we go. Slick. <laughs>